Stand up straight, boy. Noctis, even the marshal came to say goodbye. Huh? I heard the regalia's going on the boat with you. I guess it's goodbye for now. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah, I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. <sighs> I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Waiting for an invitation? 
Get your asses on board! Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it!
The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. They've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed, her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafrey is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafrey came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of... supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed at God to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. <sighs> Are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? 
Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. Hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcombe ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yep, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago, that's the one. Nice. You can count on Old Wes. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Locked. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax, I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order, you may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. <laughs>